let's get a thousand sales on Etsy for 2019. You in? Hey, I'm Pam Duffy and in 2019, I'm going to hit 1000 sales on Etsy. And I want to bring you guys along for the journey. Whatever level you're at, it's really important to set yourself a decent target and strive towards it. So let me know in the comments down below, what's your goal for 2019? What do you think you should be able to do in your shop? Is this going to be a sales target, revenue, an amount of products you make? anything just let me know in the comments down below a good friend of mine brian g johnson check his channel here says you've got to stake your claim and it is really important although you don't want to disillusion yourself with a target that you can't reach it's nice to have something to strive towards and i thought i would take us all along for a bit of a journey from starting a shop all the steps all the way up to making 1000 sales because the thing is at every stage there's different challenges and different things that we need to be doing so this is going to be a series of videos step by step all the different things we need to do at every different stage and if you're not at one of the targets in the video or you've already blown past it don't be afraid to drop into the comments and pass on your expertise to everyone else in the comment section so don't forget to keep coming back for the rest of the series but right now today let's talk about the things that are going to stop you getting that thousand say the number one thing that held me back was bad SEO, not understanding keywords, picking the wrong keywords, stuff that was too competitive or not competitive enough, or not doing the good SEO on my titles and tags so that Etsy could find me. This was the number thing that held me back for six years out of the 10 years I've been on Etsy. Another important thing that could be holding you back is bad photography. If people can't see what your item is, if it doesn't pop when they find you in search, if it's just not a very inspirational picture, people will click away. You don't have to be an expert photographer, but always work on improving your photography and this will make a big difference for your sales. Customer experience. I know it's easy to get disheartened when you read in the forums and teams where people are talking about terrible customers and pretty much people seem to jump into everything a customer is saying. They're trying to scam you so you ditch them. But if you work well with your customers, if you communicate with them, most customers are pretty decent. So be professional, polite and friendly to your customers and you'll find you turn a difficult customer into a repeat buyer. I've done this many times over the years. People that have been ditched by other sellers because the other seller thinks the customer is too difficult. They're not. They're maybe just a little bit particular. And then once they find a seller they really love they're going to come back again and again. Mindset is super important. If your goals are too high, you're just going to depress yourself. Now, it's unlikely many of us here at all are going to make millions and millions selling on Etsy. That's an unrealistic expectation. If our goals are realistic, we're more likely to meet them. And also if we keep or attempt to keep a positive attitude about it all, I know it seems like there is so much to do. We've got all the hats to wear. We're marketing experts we're artists, we're stock takers, we're photographers, we are all the things. But don't let that overwhelm you. Just think of it as you've got a little thing to improve every time. You don't have to learn everything all at once, just as long as you try and make things a step better every time. Then that's, that's eating an elephant one mouthful at a time rather than the whole thing in one sitting. If we make it easy, then we're less likely to disillusion ourselves. So keep a decent mindset. Look after yourself because this is a long haul. Eat, selling on Etsy is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Your prices, yes, they could be a problem. Not always that they're too high. Surprisingly enough, a thing that holds people back the most is having prices that are too low and people think that your item's not quality. We want to make sure that people know what we make has love put into it. It is a quality item, not a mass produced item. So don't be afraid to put your prices up to reflect that. And your niche could really be holding you back or rather your lack of a niche. If you haven't figured out what it is and who you want to sell to and you're just trying to sell a scattergun range of crafts, 
then you're less likely to do well. I've spoke about this lots and we'll speak about it in the future, but your lack of a focused niche can really hold you back from selling well on Etsy. So these are just some of the things that can hold you back and prevent you from getting your 1000 sales on Etsy. But don't worry, it's possible. I am I'm a chemical engineer to trade. I am not a marketer. I'm not an artist. I'm not an SEO expert. I'm certainly not a photographer. If I can do it, you can too. We just have to learn a little bit at a time. So come along with me on the journey for tips, tricks, strategies, and the mistakes I've made to get to this point where next year I'm going to hit 1000 subscribers. I look forward to growing with you.